Hi guys, I'm currently doing a May 15th new moon reading, so thank you so much for just subscribing to this channel, I can't talk today. Uh, this is my first time doing a moon reading, but something's telling me to um, do a reading on this, something opened me up to doing it, so thanks so much for again supporting me in this little journey and having so much patience with me as I'm learning. So, collecting your thoughts um, and getting reassurance is really important right now. Grounding is super, super, super important at this time because it's like we're ending things and then we're walking into the new. So, it could be that you're dabbling in, into some new things uh, that you've never done before, which is amazing. So, um... Not only do you need to get into your inner zen, but you want to tap into some new creative things that really bring you much joy in your life. Something that's soothing for you. Whether it is like uh, picking up a new instrument or listening to a different song than you would normally listen to, to a certain type of music. It could be that you're entering a new chapter in your life at this moment. So I know that a lot of the energies are shifting, so it's not just like one sign it's like a bunch of signs and I, because I don't do astrology I'm just kind of like picking up on the energy of it but there's such a strong like new new fresh air like a new breath of fresh air um, that's coming your way so I'm feeling guided to past life a little bit it could be that you just want to start something like I said that you've never done before that's really helpful for you so I feel like there could be some drama in your life as well, and it could be that you're clearing away the old drama. Because this is such a grounding new moon, it's about learning to adapt to new things, new environments, new energies. So um, when I talk about past life, it could be that that's out of your comfort zone and you're realizing it's safe to walk away from the old way of living and it's okay to like walk into the new. So if there's judgment around you, that sort of thing, we're clearing out judgment at this time. We're clearing away worry, clearing away anxiety. If you're, if you're the type where you have a hyper energy, you may find that you need to bring that inward as well. So if you have paranoia, if there's some overwhelming energy all the time in your life, you may find that not only is the music important for you to like soothe your soul, but that new breath of fresh air is going to be something that you need to commit to. It could be that you're used to like being sucked into negative energy and you're choosing to find that strength within yourself. Maybe it's that when it comes to money, you're sick and tired of worrying about money, but you're going to start taking action steps in terms of how can I make more money so that I don't have to worry about this. Because we're not just working on the mental energy, we're actually taking the action steps in which you will find more abundance as well. So taking initiative. Love this actually, Night of Fire, still a lot of worry energy, a sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence, think things through carefully, passionate, adventurous, self-assured, as we were talking about the need to have that reassurance, restless, that's that excited energy that we have going on. So. Um, it's interesting, I was hearing Sagittarius energy, and that's exactly what this card is connected to. So this is about leaving the past behind and being more self-fulfilled. It's about creating a life for yourself that you would love to live, and then realizing that you can live that life, that you don't need to be sucked into that negative energy anymore. So you have to persist, and you have to challenge yourself at this moment in time. So... Um, these creative abilities that you have are a beautiful thing. So make sure that you're doing things that make you feel good. Maybe that involves some decision making. Perhaps it's time to like leave an old job behind. Maybe you're sick and tired of the old mundane energy that is not serving you anymore. And this music energy that I'm talking about so deeply is to shake and shift the worry energy out of you. You may find that this past life talk that I'm, I'm saying, that past life energy, is that for a long time you, 
you've been gifted and you've and you know that secretly uh, life is abundant and that I do have abilities but I've been scared up until this point based on some old principles and old practices and now I'm coming into my awakening moment and stepping forward and creating something that I've wanted to do for a really long time and of course I love that card clarity is something that we all really need in our minds so we're healing old, old wounds as well um, it may be that, you know, when you get in a traffic jam, you get angry, that sort of thing, and you may find that it's like, okay, crank up the music. That's what I'm saying. I don't care that I'm in this traffic jam. I'm going to loosen up and I'm going to jam in this traffic, that sort of thing. Um, you know, it's about freestyle living, meaning I'm just going to go with the flow now and know that my life path is going to take me exactly where it needs to because I'm directing the traffic now. I decide when I stop and when I go. I know how to run this life better than anybody else could run it for me, that sort of thing. So I think we're going to take some ownership on things that we need to own up to as well. So that's where we're getting the reassurance. It's like, okay, if we were wrong about something, we're also agreeing that we were wrong. It's not a time to say that you're not wrong. You have to agree with people that maybe you were wrong about something and that's completely okay. So maybe it's uh, self-forgiveness, but we're not going into our pity parties anymore, all right? So that's why we have the page of air, logical, honest, impulsive, curious, challenging information, delays or changes to plans, delays, truth delivered without tact. So this is really important that we don't need scientific evidence in order to live our lives. Maybe it's Maybe somebody was deceitful towards you or someone was really like cold and harsh with you and that really hurt your feelings. And maybe you're in a vulnerable state as a result from the pain and suffering that you've experienced. But not to worry, my friends. There is balance in your life. And that's why we're coming into this place in our lives. Maybe there was a job that you were working that, you know, you're embarrassed that you... Um, you know, quit without having another job. Maybe you've been in the same job and have been miserable and you're just having your moment, you know, where you're like, no, I'm not going to work a job that I hate anymore. But there could be some fear around the change and shame around the change. So we're letting go of that, that stuff so we can walk into the new. So it's just saying, yes, the timing is not always right. And sometimes we're not always right. But when we have this new energy, it's very beautiful. So the new moon is as important as the full moon in terms of it takes a lot of courage and some bold energy in order to initiate the new. But uh, the emotions that we're leaving behind is also the, the pain and suffering that was worse. So we have lots of time to set this up. I'm even doing this a little bit earlier. So um, pleasing the public is not always, you know, the way to go. It's, it's making sure that you're on par with the things that you love to do, all right? So we're working with that passion energy now in order to commit to the things that own up to things that, you know, work positive and then commit to the things that are good within ourselves. So something that's very honest and um, brave that we're, like, we're proud of ourselves for building the courage and being so brave to admit and letting go of the negative stuff attached to that and walking into here's here's my new life. Here I am. That sort of thing. So sympathy is this card, a couple blues there. So it's as I was talking about, if you were in having like seasonal depression or something, I've been talking about that a lot lately, but the blue energy is all about truth and all about clearing the throat, meaning I'm not going to settle for less anymore. I know that I'm valuable and I'm important. So this is related to the cancer energy. And know that there are signs everywhere. So if there's something you're trying to manifest in your life, when we have the full moon, usually we acknowledge what we're letting go of. Then know, know and trust that there are signs all around us that are leading us to the next step. And although it doesn't logically make sense, there's some like passion there. You know, there's a little bit of fear, but underneath that fear, there's also passion. So sometimes we need to fuel that fire, meaning I'm going to do something that scares the crap out of me, that sort of thing. Um, that's the bold part that you're going to commit to. Like, what are you most scared of? And then almost, you know, attach yourself to that and overcome it. Now, that is giving me anxiety because that's so scary. But it's in those moments 
that we accomplish the most, all right? So um, it's not worth worrying about, and that's kind of the, I think the reason why I need to trigger that in terms of like, that's part of trusting, that's part of like life's rewards that you're going to get through this moon. And I think there's some finance really coming your way as well. So seven of air, plans that need revision, more going on than meets the eye, poor timing. So we're getting a lot of stuff along the lines of that. We've got three blue cards, so all around the throat chakra. Um, People-pleasing is really coming up. So um, there's also some arrogance energy. So it's somebody thinking that they're better than somebody. So... Um, this energy is not about being better than anybody. In fact, that's why I was think I was talking about like overcoming your fears. Maybe it's approaching someone that you really don't want to approach. Maybe it's um, you feel like you've been kind of like in a slump, like negative energy or or tired energy, and then all of a sudden you're waking up and you're changing that energy around. And you're thinking, you know what? I'm getting really healthy, and I'm deciding that you know, this is my life to live, I'm going to exercise, I'm going to eat healthy, that sort of thing. So um, we can't worry about the judgment that comes with anything that we do. So um, believing in yourself, all right? So that is some very interesting energy for the new moon. I hope that you guys enjoy this video and feel free to check out robinshealing.com if you'd like to check out uh, any of my new event services online or... Um, if you want to, if you're local and you want to check out my healing circle on May 10th as well as May 19th, I think it is, uh, please do so. It's only $15 and we're going to be doing a guided meditation on the 10th as well. We're going to be working on some positive manifestations on the 19th. All right. Thanks so much and take care. Bye.